what it is and how we can help people who have it. Because we believe that leukodystrophy, even though it may be considered as a minor disease, still deserves the same amount of care, respect and awareness as any other disease. Leukodystrophy is a rare brain disease that is caused by a broken gene in the brain that affects the nerves. Right now there are 42 known types. As you can see here, on the left is a neurotypical brain, or a normal brain, showing grey and white matter. On the right, you can see a picture of a brain with leukodystrophy, showing the grey and white matter. You should be able to see the nerves on the right brain and how they are darker than a neurotypical brain. Nerves. This causes, on most of the types of leukodystrophy, a lack of ability to walk, see and sometimes hear. The disease sometimes takes a while to develop, but is a freak accident and cannot be passed on or inherited. The disease does not make the brain less smart, but certainly makes it harder to learn. There are certain well-known types like crab disease and caravans disease. That's leukodystrophy in a nutshell, but that's not all. We really need to help people who have this condition. Helping them may seem easy to do. Just send off some money to a foundation that supports people with leukodystrophy or donate to help people research leukodystrophy. That's not the end of it though. Helping people with leukodystrophy is a much harder thing to do well than knowing what leukodystrophy is. Yeah, sending off some money will help, but what about showing that you care by raising awareness? Leukodystrophy foundations probably get lots of donations, which is fantastic. But there was more awareness than there would be more people helping and more donations. So if you could raise awareness, that would be great. You don't have to do something big like volunteering to help take care of people with leukodystrophy. Just raising awareness would make a big difference. Thank you for watching. We hope you understood our video. This is to help leukodystrophy. If you would like more information on leukodystrophy, please see the references in the description below. We really recommend that you watch the Australian Story episode on Massimo Damiani, which shows a lot about leukodystrophy. But if you go to these links, you should be able to understand what we know about leukodystrophy and how it affects the people who have it. Please spread awareness so that we can further help and understand leukodystrophy and how we can improve the lives of people in this condition.